consider joining the goat list for just a dollar a month and helping support the channel link down below in the description thanks hey guys i'm lucky we're back here for another video guys i got a comment by mutt bear who said can you make a budget squad video today I'm trying to build a good squad. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and look at the auction block. And we're going to go through each single position. And I'm going to show you guys who I would go with depending on what your budget is. So, again, we're going to start off with quarterback. Go all the way to kicker. So, let's start off with the QB position. Starting off with the QB position, if I have a good amount of coins, let's say I have unlimited amount of coins... And I can just spend whatever I want on, you know, the quarterback position. Obviously a very important position. And let's say I'm looking at a 92-93 overall quarterback. Now in this range, I personally would go with Aaron Rodgers. If you have the coins to spend, unlimited amount of coins, A-Rod is going to be the guy I would 100% recommend going with. Now, obviously, if you want a more scrambling type, there's also Randall Cunningham, but I do not recommend going with him with the fact that personally playing with him, he has overthrown a lot of passes for me in my, you know, short time of playing with him. So, I would not go with him. Now, if obviously you're not having unlimited coins to spend, if you're in around 150 range, to be honest, looking at these quarterbacks, the only quarterback I recommend going with would be... Mm, can't really recommend any of these. I know this Russell Wilson actually does play very, very good. So if you're in that range, out of these quarterbacks, I would go with Russell Wilson. I have seen him play. I played with him. And he definitely makes a lot of good throws. This big Ben is trash. Do not go with him. Now, again, with all these positions, we're going to go by East, uh, tier 88 to 89 and so on and so on. Um, out of these quarterbacks, these are going to be your more of a lower budget quarterbacks. Again, within the 100K threshold, who would I recommend going with in this category? I would probably honestly go with the 89-1 Moon. That would probably be the one I would go with right here. Looking at the stats, obviously his throw middle isn't the greatest, but is definitely so serviceable. His throw short is perfect. Throw deep is perfect. Uh, throw power definitely very nice. This is the guy I would go with in this range. The Jared Goff, looking at his stats, also a very, very nice quarterback. Definitely also recommend going with him. Cam Newton sucks. He's great at running. He's amazing at breaking tackles. When it comes to throwing the ball, the man can't throw the ball. And I have lost so many games because of that man. Guys, i play with a lot of different players. I'm just telling you this now. So I have a lot of, you know, experience with a lot of these players. So that's uh, also why, you know, certain players I'm like, I'm not going to go with. Now, I've never played with Deshaun Watson, but in this tier range, when we're getting down to, you know, again, the within the 50K mark, Deshaun Watson, looking at his stats, he looks like he'd be a really, really great quarterback. But personally, I don't, I don't know. I'm just... I've never played with him, so I can't recommend going for him. You guys, definitely comment down below if you play with any of these guys. I personally have not. So we can go ahead and you guys can tell me down below and help out anyone who is looking for this budget quarterback. Um, but personally, out of this range, I would probably avoid any of these. Um, if you're within the 50k range, if you can spend a little bit more, maybe go with this Russell Wilson right here. Deshaun Watson, again, could be the best quarterback ever. I've never played with him. And within the 50k uh, range of this area, I guess Deshaun Watson and Russell Wilson would be the only ones I could even say to go for. And Deshaun is also, again, on the edge. Now, this Phillip Rivers... I know you might be like, oh, Phil Rivers. I don't want to play with Phil Rivers. He plays amazing. I have used him on my PS4 budget squad. When I needed a quarterback, I bought him and I used him and he played amazing. Now, obviously, at, since then, I have gotten rid of him because I want a more mobile quarterback. But nonetheless, he plays amazing. Other than his inability to move, He's going to throw dots around the whole entire field. But to be honest, if you're going to go ahead and go with a quarterback and you're going to want Phil Rivers, I recommend going with the gauntlet Phil Rivers. You can get him for free and you can go ahead and complete his set. Recommend going with him if you're going to go with any quarterback like Phil Rivers. Kirk Cousins, for a very, very nice, you know, low budget quarterback, plays amazing. 
Obviously, throw middle and throw uh, short is perfect. Throw deep definitely is going to have some issues. But he does have some mobility to him. And he does have some okay throw power. Definitely a great quarterback if you want that you know nice little budget quarterback. You're not going to spend too much coins on. Do not get Dak Prescott. Um, other than that, in this range, I can't really know what a quarterback I'd probably recommend. Um, again, no, nah, not in this range. Next guy we have here is, let's go ahead and go to 82 to 83 overall range. This range, looking at these quarterbacks, Sam Bradford would be nice if you really have a really low budget and you just need to just like, Pretty much dink and dunk down the field. Bradford's going to be your guy with the short throw. But again, once we get into this range, I feel like if you're going for quarterbacks with this amount of coins, what you want to look at is going to be that short middle and your throw power. Because you're just going to want a guy that can get you down the field and not mess up at all when it comes to just dinking and dunking. Because if you don't have, you have like no quarterback and you, you have no coins, this range is not going to be the type of guy that's going to, you know, completely destroy for you because obviously you're not spending a lot of coins to put in investing into this guy. So in this range, I'd probably go ahead and just look again, maybe Alex Smith, probably Sam Bradford would be my guy with that short throw accuracy. Now again, 80 to 81, we're in that same range where it's like, you spend you you're pretty much you're getting what you pay for in a way you know you're you're not spending too much coins so I probably go ahead and go with Tyrod Taylor and again he's not gonna have any throw accuracy at all for you but what he's gonna give you is the ability to run around and move and he's gonna give the ability to make first downs off of his legs alone so with that in mind if you're in that price range. I'd probably go ahead and go with Tyrod Taylor, especially for very, very cheap. You can get him for almost no coins at all. As you can see right there, he's like 2,000 coins. Um, if you're going to go ahead and go for a gold player, I think the only golds that personally, I've not like checked out the gold market as a whole to see you know what's the best budget quarterback at the gold position. But just looking at these in general, what you want to go ahead and look for is getting that short throw accuracy and that short and that middle throw accuracy. Don't worry about deep because obviously you're not going to get, for the price tag you're paying, you're not going to really get that, you know, kind of thing. Now, with that in mind, this Ryan Fitzpatrick actually is not that bad of a quarterback. Now, 76 throw middle, 76 throw deep, and 76 throw power. Definitely could be a very nice budget quarterback. If you don't have much coins, he could definitely be a very serviceable player. A serviceable player. Now the thing I've realized and the thing that you guys probably realized too is team of the week players usually are low key the best budget players because usually they go for nothing and you can go ahead and get them for very very cheap and you can be able to you know effectively use them to your advantage. Now looking at running back again if you have all the coins in the world and you can just spend all the coins in the world get Zeke Elliott. Um, this is Earl Campbell, Barry Sanders, do not get Barry Sanders. It's not that he's not good. He is the best halfback in the game, but it just takes so long to get used to using him. Trust me, guys. It's a lot more difficult than you think using him. Jerome Bettis, I played against him one time and he fumbled the ball four times. So I guess he's not that great. There's a lot of people tell me he's uh, trash and he fumbled it four times when I played him once. With that in mind, though, Zeke Elliott is going to be the best halfback if you have unlimited amount of coins. I recommend going with Zeke Elliott, team of the week. I can't recommend any other halfback over Zeke Elliott. He is glitchy. He's good at catching the ball. He's everything you need in a running back. I promise you guys, I know a lot of people say, like, oh, I don't really like Zeke. If you have not played with Zeke, play with Zeke. Zeke's the best. Feed Zeke. Zeke is really awesome, and I definitely recommend going with him. Out of the 90 to 90 overall range, this Adrian Peterson is glitchy, annoying to play against, and he breaks everything. I know you might look at him and be like, 
eh, it doesn't look too great. 91 trucking is like 99 trucking when you have to tackle this guy in open field. He is annoying to play against. I actually have a gameplay on my channel, I believe, when a guy, the Colts a uniform guy, played with Andrew Ryan Peterson and he broke every tackle. He had six 80 yard runs. <sighs> Still having a headache from playing that guy. Nonetheless, though, this is the reason why. He is glitchy guys. I promise you if you use him you're gonna have you're gonna give some headaches to your opponents because for some reason I don't know why but some players for some reason gets really glitchy and gets headaches to deal with and there's a couple players like that like Garrett Blunt's one of them next player is going to be Derrick Henry Next player is going to be Adrian Peterson for some reason no matter what AP you get he's always gonna be glitchy but just keep in mind there's one issue with Adrian Peterson, guys. There's one issue that is really, really bad. What's his carrying? 83. He fumbles. He fumbles more than any other running back I know. And again, this has not just been this year. This has been multiple years where whenever I use him, he fumbles more than any running back. Zeke fumbles a lot. AP fumbles 10 times that. So just be careful, AP. He does fumble the ball a lot. And I could not, I could not stress that enough. Be careful. Next guy I recommend going with is going to be this Marshall Falk. He's about 91,000 coins right here. Amazing running back. Definitely one of the best in the game. And he's only 90,000 coins. You can get him for under 100,000 coins, guys. Very, very nice running back. I've not played with this LeGarrette Blunt, but I have heard and played against him. And he is very, very nice. Definitely recommend picking him up if you have the coins. Jordan Howard, complete glitch, 100%. Not the fastest running back, but again, one of the most impossible to take down running backs. Devontae Freeman, very nice halfback. Definitely, I have also played with, uh, well, not played with, but played against Devontae Freeman. Um, LaShawn McCoy, I don't... I, I haven't played with him. I played against him many times. And every time I played against him, I've shut him down. So again, that might just be my dumb luck. My defense is OP. I don't know. But I've never had an issue with LaShawn McCoy. I played on against teams with, you know, what's his name? Uh, LeGarrette Blunt, where they had no offensive line, no nothing. And Blunt trucks six of my guys. So I can't really 100% recommend uh, LaShawn McCoy, but I have heard a lot of people say he's really great. Um, running back wise, another very, very glitchy running back, Latavius Murray. Very, very glitchy. Um, he has definitely, I, I don't want to say, he, I don't know. I mean, for the budget under 30K, he's going to be the best halfback, in my opinion, that you can get. But obviously, at the same time, he's he can get glitchy, but he's not going to be consistently glitchy as the AP will be. Um, and obviously, the price range, you know, dictates that. One price is 50K more or 20K more, and one price is 20K less. In this price range, though, just looking over some of these halfbacks, this Kareem Hunt is very, very nice and definitely a really great pickup if you have, you know, under 60,000 coins and you just want to upgrade that position. He's a very, very nice player. Um, next one I would probably go with looking at them is actually... Nah, I think we're good. I think we're good, actually. Um, no one else. Again, Jerome Bettis. I've not played with him. I was going to pick him up, but everyone told me not to. I played against him, and he fumbled four times. So, I got obviously, fumbling is random in this year's game. But that's just, you know, one thing. This Derrick Henry is glitchy. So, if you have... 14, 15,000 coins, and you want to buy a halfback, buy this Derrick Henry, guys. This Derrick Henry is definitely, he's definitely worth the coins. Um, you know, 88 speed, 89 trucking. Obviously, you you would wish you had him when he was morphed up, but he's still a very, very nice running back, and definitely recommend the pickup right there. If you only have 15,000 coins, you don't have enough, you know, to pick up anyone else, and you just want to get a halfback that's going to get you down the field and help you out. He has the speed and the trucking ability to help you get down the field effectively and efficiently, and he is a very, very nice player. Now that we're getting down into this kind of lower range, this is when we're going to start talking about speed. This Aaron Jones is a very, very nice halfback at 89. 
nine speed. He's very, very good at 86 carrying, 86 shocking. I definitely recommend picking him up. Again, once we get down to this range, under 10,000 coins, around that area, we're going to get to players that, you know, you're going to have to just take what you can get with some of these players. Another very good budget player under 11K will be this Alvin Kamala. Most times you can find him for under 10K, around 8,500, around 7,500. He's a very, very nice player. Definitely recommend picking him up. Other than that, this Dalvin Cook is also a very, very nice running back. Um, who else we got here? Um... No one else I'd probably recommend in that at that range of people right there. 82 to 83. Going down the list. Let's see. Mark Ingram. Booty butt cheeks. Spencer Ware. Booty butt cheeks. Latavius Murray. Not that bad. Definitely if you have like no coins at all. And again you're trying to go with a really low coin budget squad. Latavius Murray could be your guy in that aspect. CJ Anderson. Eh. Todd Gurley, what's Todd Gurley looking like? Todd Gurley is definitely another guy. And again, that speed is going to help you out. Mainly the biggest issue I feel like with running back, especially when we get to budget running back and we don't have much coins to spend, that's when it's going to come down to, you know, speed. Because obviously, if your guy has no speed and he can't outrun anybody, it doesn't matter if he has good trucking ability, good catching ability. If he gets caught after two yards, who cares, you know? That's just how that looks. Tevin Coleman actually might be secretly the best budget, uh, what's it called, halfback for like 5,000 coins. You could probably get him for less than 5,000 coins, especially if you look around and you try to snipe one. But this card is very, very good. And I've played against him many, many times on different occasions, early on in the game and later on in the game. And he's definitely very annoying to play against. Christian McCaffrey, amazing. This guy fights for extra yards. He always is annoying to tackle. For a lower budget halfback, you don't expect this guy to be as good as he freaking is. And he is that good. And it's annoying to play against him. And anyone who has played against him knows how good this Christian McCaffrey truly is. So I definitely recommend that Christian McCaffrey... Other than that, though, let's go ahead and look at wide receivers. Looking at wide receivers, guys, let's go ahead and go starting off right away at the top of the list. And obviously, the best budget receiver is going to be Michael Irvin. And I know you're like, what budget? Well, you can get him for free, technically. So he's definitely a very, very nice receiver. But if you have all the coins in the world and you're like, I want the best guy possible, Randy Moss is your guy. Randy Moss is the best receiver in this game. Hands none. He plays amazing. He's unstoppable. Go pick up Moss if you have all the coins in the world. If you don't have all the coins in the world, go ahead and Michael Irving for free. Or go ahead and spend on 120k and get him. Other than that though, Chad Johnson is definitely another very, very nice uh, player. He definitely plays very, very nice and will help you get down the field. Andre Reed's another, another really nice player. Odell Beckham. A lot of Obviously, in this price range, you know, in this category, the only players I couldn't, I really could not not recommend anyone here. They all play amazing. So, there's nothing, when it comes to receiver, it gets really difficult to say, like, who is bad and who is good. Because all these, all these players are really, really good. Nonetheless, now let's go ahead and get to the budget. Budget receiver, Joey Nettleman, is amazing. If you don't have much coin to spend on a receiver, getting Joey Edelman is going to help you out immensely because he only costs he costs less than fifty thousand coins. He's eighty five speed, which is serviceable for right now in this time of month. At the same time, he's going to have somebody good catching, somebody good spec catch, somebody good route running, somebody good catch traffic and jumping. He's going to be able to help you get down the field and be able to do some really really good run block at seventy four. So. You don't have much coins. He's going to be one of the best run blocking receivers. And he is under 50,000 coins. So go ahead and pick him up if you have, you know, if you're looking for a new wide receiver. This DT Demarius Thomas is very, very nice. If you need a guy under 100,000 coins, most times you can find him for under 100,000 coins. And very, very nice receiver. Definitely recommend picking him up. Next guy is going to be Chris Carter. Chris Carter is, in my opinion, 
the best receiver in this game for budget to a certain degree because obviously he's going to catch everything. He's going to get you down the field. The 90 overall threshold, he meets in almost every category except for three. He, he's a very, very nice receiver. If you have only 100,000 coins spent on receiver, buy Chris Carter. Don't even think about anyone else. Very, very nice receiver. One of the best in the game. Nonetheless, other than that, no one else I run 100% recommend. When it, I mean, I've never played this Adam Thielen. He definitely looks nice. Brandon Cooks definitely looks nice. But again, if you're looking for under that 100k price tag, any of these other guys, Lay Fitzgerald is just way too slow for my taste. Uh, but nonetheless, a lot of very, very nice players. Uh, but I can't recommend anyone else that I personally played with or against. Pierre Garçon is a very, very nice receiver. Definitely, again, play with him. Definitely recommend picking him up. Any Chris Carter is also glitchy. Now, the best receiver, I would say, for under 50,000 coins, you can get him for under 50,000 coins a lot of times, is this Brandon Cooks. He has saved me a lot of times. He's the best kick returner in this game. He is he's going to destroy a lot of coverages. He is a mismatch nightmare to deal with. And I definitely recommend picking up if you have the coins, guys. This Brandon Cooks is a monster to deal with. Definitely recommend picking him up. This Alshon Jeffrey is very, very nice too. Um, Going down the list. I think we might be good here. Yeah, I think we're good there. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to 60, 67 or 86, 87. Again, guys, just keep in mind that, yes, there's going to be players I miss because I'm not, you know, I haven't played with everyone. I haven't played against everyone. And with that in mind, you know, some players I'm going to miss for that reason. But nonetheless, I'm giving you my honest opinion and based on telling you guys who I played with and who I played against on who's the best to pick up for your budget. So with that in mind, Tavon Austin is going to be the next guy. Very, very nice, amazing receiver. Unless he's going against Campbell, you're fine, right? Who remembers that? The OGs remember that video, guys. But anyway, Tavon Austin, very nice receiver. Danny Amendola, eh. Let's move on from him. <laughs> um, Robert Woods, again, a very nice receiver. Once you get down to this price range, I feel like well you're gonna you're gonna look for a couple of things, right? You're gonna look for speed or you're gonna look for a possession. So either a deep threat or a possession receiver. If you wanna look for, you know, 81 speed, it's not gonna do it. 85 speed. Again, that's the issue. When you get down to this range, if you want speed, you're gonna get speed, but you're not gonna get the opposite point of view. Sammy Watkins, on the other hand, is a very, very nice receiver. Again, if you're looking for a budget under 25K, he's going to help you out very, very nicely. This Des Bryant is very, very great. Now, the issue with this Des Bryant is he's never going to get another card because the Cowboys suck on offense. But nonetheless, he is a very, very nice player if you need to go ahead and get him. If you need a receiver and you have, you know, not that much coins, you have about 30, 25, 30K, Des Bryant's going to be your guy in that aspect. Next guy we have here is going to be 84 to 85 overall. <sighs> Pierre Garçon. No. Ted Ginn Jr., check. Very, very nice receiver. Um, and I'm not trying to just look at speed, but when you look at players without any speed, let's say 81, 82... You, you can't really use them, right? I mean, corners, a lot of corners you play against are just going to hold them at the line of scrimmage or literally just run pace for pace with them. Sammy Watkins, another really nice receiver. In real life, this guy is the worst receiver in the NFL. In Madden, he is the best. Trail Pryor is so amazing. This card right here plays better than I would say any 87, 88 overall player I've ever played with. Okay, I'm lying on that one. But still, nonetheless, he plays amazing. If you guys have the coins and you need a budget receiver under 10,000 coins, Terrell Pryor is definitely 100% recommended. He plays amazing. Kenny Stills is another really amazing player. Um, 
Going down the list here. Manuel Sanders. Yeah, speed and catching. He actually has the best of both sports here. Definitely recommend going with uh, Manuel Sanders. And again, I might be missing key players. Tyree Kill is definitely not a major player. I might be missing a lot of players, guys, that you're like, oh my god, this guy's good, this guy's good, this guy's good. I'm, I don't play with everybody. I have not played with every single person who played against everybody. I'm just giving you my recommendation based on who I've played with and who I've played against. Because obviously, if I tell you a player I've not played with or against, then how is that any recommendation if you should go with him or not, you know? So, tight end. Let's go ahead and look at the tight end position. Tony Gonzalez is going to be the best tight end to get. Now, obviously, if you have unlimited amount of coins, go with Tony Gonzalez. He's the best tight end. Second best is going to be Travis Kelsey. Go ahead and get Travis Kelsey if you have the coins to get Travis Kelsey. I don't have to tell you that. You already know that. Nonetheless, if you want to go ahead and go for either of those guys, those are the guys I recommend. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the lower budget. Not really budget, but within, you know, the 100k threshold of tight ends. And this Martellus Bennett is going to do everything you need him to do. One blocking ability. Now, he has 76 speed, which is not too, too bad. But it's not going to be the best speed for, you know... For you, but he does have 30, he's only 35,000 coins, so for his price range, he's definitely a very, very nice player and definitely very much recommended. Now, of course, now let's go ahead and go down one tier to go within that 100k threshold. This Vernon Davis, definitely recommend. He's under 15,000 coins, he has 86 speed. He's, well, one thing, this Calvin Wenzel is also pretty nice. But nonetheless, 86 speed, 83 catching, and stop buying him as I'm trying to show him off, please. 85 release, 81 route running, 86 catching traffic, 84 spec catch. Very, very nice player. Definitely recommend. And now you can go ahead and buy him. 3, 2, 1. Buy. Nope, didn't happen. Okay. Um... Run blocking wise, Delaney Walker is amazing. Tyler Eifert, run blocking wise, is going to help you out plenty. I actually put this Tyler Eifert because I got an elite NAT card and he definitely helped me out. Jimmy Graham, very, very nice tight end. Now, the best tight end for the budget is going to be the Jared Cook right here. You can get him within a 25, 27,000 coin price range and he is amazing. Run block, speed, catching ability, you name it, Jared Cook has it. Very, very nice tight end. Definitely recommend picking him up if you have the coins to go ahead and do so. Nonetheless, going down the list, we have Martellus Bennett. We got Cameron Bright. Okay, I'm going to stop making that noise because it's probably annoying. Um, but Hunter Henry, definitely recommend picking him up. Very, very nice tight end. Under uh, 10K, game for a pretty good price. Same thing with Austin Hooper. Very, very nice tight end too. And again, as I said before, these, you know, Team of the Week cards are so, so good budget players. Best tight end for under 30K. Under 25K, under 20K. Evans is amazing. I mean, if you don't know who this Evans is, he's the best tight end when it comes to just pure speed to catching ability. Obviously, he has no one block. So if you want a one block tight end, don't pick him up. Um, next guy, uh, then we can move on. I think we can move on. All right, so now looking down a list, a list even more. Austin Hooper is very nice right there. Um, again, once we get into these budget range players, we're not really having much to work with. Yeah. Yeah, this Kevin Winslow would be the last guy. This would be the second guy I recommend. He's You can get him under 10,000 coins. He's a very, very nice tight end, but he's not going to be a run blocker. He's going to be purely just catching the ball and winning in that matchup. So, guys, that's going to be pretty... This Charles Clay is actually pretty amazing. I'm not going to lie. All right, so Charles Clay, Benj Watson, 
No, probably not Ben Watson. Um, let's see. Uh, Greg Olson? Nah, nah. Okay. So, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for this budget squad video, guys. If you want to see me continue and do the offensive line in a separate video and the defense, make sure you hit the like button. Tell me down below you guys want to see it. If enough people say they want to see it, I will go ahead and get that video out to you guys ASAP. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.